Cup. It's me, Jenny, aka Classy Librarian, and this week's movie was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, starring Bob Hopkins. And when I was very little, I caught right at the end of this film the scene where Doom takes off his glasses, and I was so terrified of this film that I haven't watched it until this point. All I saw were those eyes, and I was so scared. I didn't go near this film until just now, and I wasn't sold on the first scene. The first scene where it's all animated, I was like, oh, this, this is silly, this isn't the sort of thing that will be mine. It's like, you know, Final Destination meets cartoons, and it wasn't really my thing. I, I slapped it comedy, and I was like, oh no, no, this is going to be terrible. Uh, and then the moment it cut to this weird half cartoon, half reality, I just spent the entire film, like, with a huge grin on my face, just, it, it's amazing, this film, because it's, the direction is just extraordinary, the way that the cartoons interact with the world, the way that the world interacts with cartoon characters, um, just this amazing, like, little thing, I mean, the story itself is a classic noir story, it's got the femme fatale, it's got the grimy alcoholic detective with, uh, the dark past, and, um, the mission that he has to accept despite not wanting to because it involves his dark past and it's got the goofy sidekick and um, the villainous villain um, and that in itself is brilliant and it's got all the classic noir shots like the shot through the um, through the bridge and he's checking his guns and stuff and all of this classic stuff but with a comedy twist and with a cartoon twist and it's bizarre and brilliant and Thank you, Movie Club, because this is the first time in Movie Club that I've watched a film for the first time, and it has gone straight up into the list of top ten films. Um, I don't know how high it is on that list, but this film is just amazing, because I, I literally was, every single scene, surprised and amazed by the way that the visual effects works, uh, surprised and amazed by how funny and how intelligent it was. Um, you know, my least favourite bit of this, you know, it's not a perfect film. My least favourite bit of this was probably all the ridiculously cartoony bits. Like, Roger Rabbit is obviously kind of irritating. But I was so lost in how wonderfully this is directed. Um, and how good, like, the main characters are. Um, Robert Hoskins does a brilliant job as this grimy, witty um, detective just trying to find his own self. Um, Jessica Rabbit... We all know who Jessica Rabbit is. Even I knew who Jessica Rabbit was, despite not having watched this. I'm wearing my red dress to um, kind of support her today. Um, she's just a really interesting character. And, yeah, I 100% recommend this film. I really loved it. The first scene wasn't sold, thought it would be terrible. The second scene, 30 seconds in, and I was completely hooked. Um, the villain is brilliant, the femme fatale is brilliant, the overall story is lovely, um, the way that it all works together is brilliant, um, oh, just, I love this film, and, you know, I, I know, um, Philip isn't really connected with SourceFed, but, because I'm watching these as part of a group, I almost forgive Steve for Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie for showing me this film. Um, it, it was just so enjoyable, and I'm so glad I watched it. And that's it. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I hope you find this review remotely useful. It's just me rambling, as usual. And uh, that's about it, really. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.